Wait, when did I press start? <laughs> Hello, welcome to this video. My name is Mara and I'm a Glendon Campus Student E-Ambassador. In these videos, I tend to spend a lot of time talking about Glendon and the school itself without actually talking about the educational part. And while talking about classes and learning isn't the most exciting thing, the reason I do go to Glendon is for a degree after all. I find that whenever people ask me what I'm studying, whether they're students at Glendon or somewhere else, no one knows what international studies is. So I'm currently completing my undergraduate degree at Glendon. I'm in my second year of international studies. Let's actually just go on the Glendon website and see how they define and explain the program. So on the Glendon website, they say that international studies is a multidisciplinary field that arms you with a deeper understanding of how governments, law, politics, business, civil society, culture, science, and the environment relate on the international stage. Throughout your degree, you will study the relations between countries, regions, international organizations, and transnational networks. They really fit it all into a couple of sentences there. And even though that explanation includes a lot of information, it can kind of be hard to grasp what you do in the program. But really, the meaning is in the title itself. You are studying all these different disciplines, but on an international level. And there are a lot of very similar programs to international studies, like international relations, global affairs, international affairs, global studies. There's so many different titles you can give these degrees. What really differentiates international studies from those other programs like IR, international relations, is that in international studies, we do study IR theory. So there are a lot of courses that are about international relations. However, since it is multidisciplinary, that's not the only discipline we focus on. So not everything you learn in international studies is based on international relations theory. I know that sounds confusing, but in simple terms, what we're studying is different disciplines, so all those ones that are mentioned on the Glendon website, and we get to look at all those different theories and relations, so it is very broad and covers a lot of different topics. What really drew me to international studies is that since it includes all these different areas of study, it kind of gets you everything in one, in a sense. I've always been really interested in law and in history, so by putting those together in all these different disciplines in one program, Program, it really gives me the opportunity to study everything I want and more. The program has also challenged me to take courses in these other areas of study that I wasn't as interested in before. Like over the summer after first year, I had the chance to take economics, which is not a course I would have ever seen myself in. But with the program, I had the chance to try it out. So if you're someone like me with all these different interests, then international studies might be the great opportunity to combine them all into one degree. As someone that doesn't have a clear idea of what exactly my next steps after my undergraduate degree will be, I really appreciated having the opportunity to try out different classes and see what interests me the most so that by the time I've done my degree, maybe the next steps will be to specialize in one of those areas. There's a lot of different degree types that you can get within the International Studies program at Glendon and really any program at Glendon. There's all these different titles, specialized honors and honors, a BA and an IBA. From my understanding, the biggest difference between uh, an honors degree and a specialized honors degree is that in the specialized honors, you take more courses within the international studies program. What's special about the specialized honors is that in fourth year, there are some different course opportunities like writing a thesis or participating in the international studies symposium. So it really is just specializing in international studies and having more opportunities and courses within the program. The difference between a BA being a Bachelor of Arts and an IBA being the International Bachelor of Arts is that with the IBA, there's an academic exchange component. So I've actually recently applied for this a couple months ago, and that would be for generally in third year to go spend a semester abroad in a different country. To me, that's always seems like the most exciting part of doing an undergraduate degree at Glendon. So I've applied now 
for my third year to hopefully go in the winter term. Of course, with COVID right now, there's a lot of travel restrictions and safety restrictions, and there's no guarantee that even next year I'll get to go. Fingers crossed is something I've been really excited for, and I do hope it works out safely. There's also options to add things onto your degree, like a minor, a certificate, you can also do a double major and a really cool program they have at Glendon is the business administration and international studies degree. So that is a double major degree. A couple things that I've really liked about the program at Glendon is that it is a fairly small program. So in a lot of my classes, it's the same students, which is giving me the opportunity to make friends and connect with people that share a lot of the same interests. There's also a lot of international students in the program. So it's really just a great mix of people. It's also been a nice opportunity in the small program to have a couple of professors that I've really liked more than once, which has really given me the opportunity to be more comfortable in my classes and get to know my professors personally. Now that I'm working towards the end of my second year of my degree, looking forward, I think my two biggest personal goals one would be to get to go on that academic exchange next year but the bigger one is for me to focus in more on what i want to continue pursuing after my international studies degree my biggest areas of interest right now are probably human rights and conflict resolution and i feel confident that in fourth year i'll have a clearer idea of how i want to continue to work on these interests of mine so I hope that helps give you a better idea of what International Studies is and what that program looks like at Glendon. I'll link the Glendon International Studies page down below. There you can pretty much find all the information and specific details that you could need on the program. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.